Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how you can create a children's activity book on Canva and how you can design a high quality book cover for that activity book. Let's begin. To create your activity book, we're gonna be using Canva. What we're gonna do is the first thing is create a design. So the template is gonna be a customized size. We're gonna go all the way down where it says custom size. We're gonna click on that. And the size is gonna be 8.5 by 11. I always like to do it manually just so that you can see what it looks like, although it's always gonna be here at the bottom. So 8.5 by 11, we're gonna click on create new design. And then we're gonna be working with a blank canvas, okay? And let's say our activity book is about math. So we're gonna go ahead, head on over to where it says design. We're gonna click on that search bar and we're gonna type in math activities for kids. I think that's a bit long, but yeah, that'll do. We're gonna be looking at a lot of different activity worksheets. Please note that if you use one of these templates, make sure to shift things around, maybe remove icons, and I will let you know what that looks like so that you're not just copy and pasting and just uploading on Amazon KDP. And then that's gonna be a problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this worksheet right here. And as I'm hovering over it, you're gonna see a bunch of just pages just shifting to the left. There are workbooks here on Canva that you can use. And the way that I would advise you to use them, you see how it says ordering numbers, one through 10 activity worksheets for kids. You can just change the icon and I'll show you what that looks like. Let me use this first one. Okay, let me expand it a little bit. And before we continue, I do wanna let you know that when you publish on Amazon KDP, you want to try, especially for activity books, you want to aim for doing everything black and white. I know it's very tempting, at least for me, it's tempting for me to use color because it's for kids. You want to make it fun and visually appealing. However, the printing cost increases when you add a lot of color. So if you want to make a profit when you are publishing, you want to keep the printing cost low. So let me go ahead and change that background color to white. Perfect. Ordering numbers, cut and glue in order. You can always change that. And what I would do is I would add the word directions, cut and glue the numbers in order. Okay, perfect. You can even change the font. Just make it look a little bit different. Make it your own. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to expand this page a little bit. Do you see how there's little bottles of glue? Instead of using glue, you can use something different. I'm going to go ahead and delete this icon. And you could even just leave the numbers as they are. Or you can add a different icon. How do you do that? You go to elements and you can just start searching for what you want to work with. Let's see the graphics. It says, okay, there's a jar. Uh, let's see. Tomatoes. Let me see. I think that's too wide. I think that's way too wide. I think we can do a jar. We can work with a jar. Let's see how well that works. Okay. Okay, so the jar fits. And then the number, I'm going to just shift it a little bit up. So that... Okay, that looks great. Now, all I have to do is just duplicate this jar so i'm going to go ahead and do that again and then position it to the back because it covered the numbers so we're going to click on position and then we're going to click on backward perfect let me shift the number a little bit up and then we're going to continue to do that over and over again We have our jars, our numbers are in the jars and you can even change the numbers around. You can make the six go here and so on and so forth and scramble them. So that's not a problem. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna add another page to our activity book. We're gonna go back to design and we have more of those activity pages. So all you have to do in this case is 
continue to add the pages that appeal to you, or you can even create different ones. But for the sake of this example, we're gonna keep them the same. Okay, so that we can move along and I can show you what other things you can include in your activity book. If you wanna take it a step further and include more value in the activity book, you can do a three in one, which means three different activities in one book. I'll show you how to do that in this next blank page. So the first two pages are math, and then the next page, we can do a matching game. So we can do matching activity. Matching activity for kids. So here we are. We can go ahead and choose this one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove this frame and delete it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and change these words into a different color. So I can choose maybe a green and perhaps a, a red. Excellent. So now what we can do here is we could just delete these images and look for other vegetables or fruits that match these colors. So how do we do that? We go to elements. You don't have to do fruits. You can just do different objects, match the objects. So let's change the word fruits to objects. What objects can we use? We're going to go to elements and we're going to check out what are green objects. Okay. Green objects, a tree. So we can do use this tree. Just minimize it and I'm going to put it here. Perfect. A purple object. Okay, a purple object. It could be an umbrella. But if you notice, this umbrella is not the same color as this purple. That's not a problem. You click on the object, in this case, the umbrella, and you have the color here. So all you have to do is switch it. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to look for a yellow object. Okay, yellow object, object. No, I can't even spell. Are you serious? Okay, yellow object. There you go. I'm going to look at graphics and I'm going to choose a taxi. All right. Let's say if you can change this color and they don't match, which is not a big deal. But um, I am very, very meticulous about these things. Under photo colors, you're going to notice that the taxi color, that yellow is there. So that's perfect. You can switch that. And all we're missing is a red object. Now we're going to just type it in in the search bar under elements, red objects. We're going to go here and we can do. Let's see. A book that works a red book that's perfect let's lift this up a little bit mm. okay great now we have a matching activity so let me go ahead and click on the grid view so we have two math worksheets then we have a matching color worksheet we can do another matching activity all we have to do we click on this worksheet and we duplicate it we're going to click on that and we're going to work on this. So all you have to do is delete, 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 and you can just change the colors here. We can do what color haven't we done here? Um, it could be pink. Then the next one can be blue. And the next one could be maybe a purple, like a lilac or ooh, this color. Or maybe an orange. And instead of red, we can do gray. So perfect. So that's another activity. We can change the colors on these words. Okay, that works. And then we just do the same thing again. Pink objects. And then, okay, sh some shades. I like this, some shades. Ah. All right, perfect. So just minimize it. We put it here. Okay, now we're going to do 
blue objects. And we can use this little hat cap. We can put it here and then orange objects. And we could do the yo-yo. Let's see what else. And then all we have left is the gray objects. Gray objects. Okay, it could be, let's see. Um, I'm not sure, maybe a comb, a gray comb. Perfect, so that works. So now let me click on grid view at the bottom here. And we have so far four activity sheets. Remember how I mentioned that you can do a three in one, so three different activities in one book. For an activity, you can even do a writing prompt. Writing prompts are very easy to do. All you have to do is the following. You can look for a rectangle shape, okay? And let's see, let's do that again, rectangle. Let's see, frames or outlines. Okay. All right, this works. Let me delete this one. And then I'm going to make sure that it's black. The trim is black so we can see it. And then, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a writing prompt. Let's go ahead and click on text. And for the text, we can add the writing prompt could be how what are you grateful for today okay so that's going to be our writing prompt let me just go ahead and change this and make sure it's a different font what are you grateful for today as a matter of fact let me minimize this a little bit and remember, you don't have to use a rectangle. It could be different. It could be a cloud. It can be many different things. If you want to see how that looks, we can do that too. Cloud outline. We can do a cloud. Okay, here the cloud is, the outline is white. So we're going to have to change that to black. Perfect. So we can delete this one and we get at the cloud maximize it and you have a little cloud and then here at the bottom all we have to add we're gonna search for paper lines so that we can add those lines so that children have a space to write and it could be fun lines it could be something like this or let's see what I find here Okay, these lines are perfect. So let's say you want to go ahead and make sure you expand this, but you're like, wait a second, this is too long, it's too big. No problem, we can crop it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on crop at the top. And then, okay, we're going to crop that down all the way down. And that should be fine. We're going to click on done. And we have lines, ladies and gentlemen. If we want to have another writing prompt, all we have to do is just duplicate this. Click on that new one and just write a new prompt. We can say, have you, you done something nice for someone today? If you can't think of writing prompts at the top of your head, well, all you need to use is ChatGPT. And this is how simple it is. We're currently on ChatGPT, and all we're going to ask is provide 10 writing prompts for kids to write ages, let's say it's 6 to 11. Provide silly writing prompts. All right, it's going to generate our prompts for us. You can use these prompts, modify them, and all you have to do is you're going to copy and paste them. You can copy and paste them directly onto Canva and you can make your edits there or you can copy and paste it onto a Microsoft Word document or Google Doc and edit them there. So then it's that simple. When we go back here to Canva, we have created already a pattern. All you have to do to continue to add value to this activity book is continue to create those pages. 
Now the time has come to create the book cover. But before we work on that front cover, I want to show you something. Before we begin designing the book cover, I want to show you the difference between this book cover and this one. You have not been taught and you have not learned simple design techniques that will take your book cover to the next level. I want to go ahead and point out the differences between these two book covers. Okay, so this first book cover, the star is behind this blue object, this blue banner, right? There's a little bit of shadow going on, on in like behind those words. And then if you see this paper, I'm going to, I'm going to remove the shadow so that you know what I'm talking about. And it's better to understand when you see it, I'm going to go to edit photo. Okay. The shadow that that paper has. Okay. Let me click on the FX effects and I'm going to put none. Okay, perfect. Now, do you see how that looks like right now without the shadow? It's all right. But if you add the shadow, it just increases the look, the professionalism within this image. And now in this book, how can you fix a book cover like this? That's very simple. You can do something like add shadows to the, to the worksheets. So we're going to add a shadow, a glow. We're going to add a glow and we can make those images a lot bigger. What can we do with these little icons and what can we do with these icons? We can go ahead and spread them. Don't be afraid to extend the image to the edge of the page. It actually looks better. Let me put this up on top. Like this. Oh, let me extend it a little bit. Perfect. And let me get this little, little guy. Okay. We're going to change this right now. So what you do, you can make these a little bigger. Okay. Make these a little bigger. Let me remove this little book over here. Put it here. Let me put this here. Okay. We can slightly shift it and then we can add. We can add a rectangle and I'll show you why. Okay. Let's go ahead and click here. Let me just add this shape over here. Okay, I've clicked on it and I'm going to expand it here, expand it over here, bring it down and you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it even further down. We can leave it here. We can even change the color, make it a little brighter, the same color as uh, where it says kindergarten. Let me see if it comes up here or we can add some of those elements within the worksheet where it says photo colors. It's extracting the colors from the worksheets so we can use that. And here we can add a banner. Let me show you. Let me add a banner. Okay, so we're going to remove that effect that we have here. We can remove that effect. The effect is the background. So we're just going to go up top and click on none. Okay. Bring it further down. And we're going to add that banner that we talked about. This is how you improve the, the look of your book cover. So we're going to go here to banner and we're going to look for a good banner for this book. Let's, let's see how this one may look. Okay. I like this one. Okay. Let's bring it all the way up. Okay. And so that means we're going to bring this object a little bit down, down the word kindergarten. We're going to elevate it, make sure it's centered, make sure we continue with that same color scheme. So we're going to use this one right here. Perfect. And then 
math skills. And what we can do, which is pretty cool, is we can go ahead and add some description of the book, what this book has. So we're going to add some text. We are going to bring this down and we're going to write it here. Okay. We're going to write, let's say, counting, counting activity book. And this is just for the sake of this example. There are many ways you can do this. We can change the font. Don't be afraid to grab these little icons and small elements and just expand it at the edge of the page. If you notice, a lot of books do have those elements. So don't be afraid to do that and just experiment and look to see what works for you, what looks best. Now we're going to put activity book. And then what we can do is we can add a little light bulb or a star or something like that light bulb and then and then you'll see what i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna add this one and we're gonna add it here to the left on that purple bar we're gonna add it here excellent we're gonna put this here counting book activity we're going to change the color. I want to change, or maybe I can even change the effect. Make sure it's something like this. Okay, and then I'll make it white so that it can pop a little bit more. There you go. Activity book. And then we can add something here on the side. Like a little, let's see, a badge. I'll show you what that looks like right now. We can add a little badge. And what you can add on that badge is the ages for these for the kids we could do that either on the top and i'll show you what that looks like we can do it here let me just minimize it a little bit we can do it here or let's see let's click on badge again under elements and see what we can use maybe like a circle some kind of shield or okay Okay, this looks maybe something like this. Perfect. Let me just minimize it. Okay, we're going to put it here. And then what we're going to add, we're going to add some text on top of that. And we can put ages and it could be K through one. So let me just, oh, it's really small. Let's put it over here and let me maximize that and change the font, make it a little more bold and bold. Okay, perfect. So this is one way you can go ahead and make sure that you improve the look of your activity book for children. So let's see. Not bad, not bad. So this is just one way that you can go ahead and improve the look of an activity book. And I mean, you could do many more things, but now we're going to do one from scratch. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to that file. I like to use vibrant colors. Let's say I want to use, it could be a yellow or, but if you don't want to use one of the colors that you have here, that's not a problem. Just go to elements and you're going to click on yellow and it says it already here yellow background so we can use different types of yellow and they could be fun let's see okay i like this swirly thing over here whoop where did it go okay i like that swirly thing that we have here and then what we can add to this is the following we can add a cloud let's see a cloud Cloud. Let's see. Let's see how big this goes. Okay. And we can add this cloud. And on this cloud, we're going to add words. We're going to add the word three in one. Okay. So we're going to go here. 
three and one. Let's go ahead and make sure that's perfect. Let me change the font so that it's um, a more fitting font. Okay. Wonderful. And now we're going to write the words activity book. So let's choose activity book for kids. We're going to expand this a little bit. Make sure that the line spacing, the, wor the, the words are not too spaced out. Ah. All right. Perfect. Let me expand this a little bit and going to change the font, expand this a little bit more. And you could even the cloud, you could even duplicate the cloud. And then as you can see here, just click on that front cloud. It's already clicked on and we're going to hit back. But what's cool is that we already have that other cloud. And what we could do is we can create a shadow. See that? But the shadow doesn't have to be black. It can be blue. It can be purple. It can be any color. All right. We're going to click on back. Okay, perfect. And now we have a three in one activity book. And let's see. We're going to make sure. We're going to change that font. Okay. Activity book for kids. Perfect. We can add an effect. Something like this. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay. That sounds good, but maybe a little bigger will work better. All right, I like that. So now activity book for kids. Now we're going to use math icons. Icons. And let's oh, we can use some counters. We definitely need counters for math. So we can add a counter here. Mm, let's see. A math notebook over here. We could change that color too. Let me just go ahead and switch this. Perfect. Then what we can do is we can add, let's see some activities and I'll show you what I mean by this. I'm going to go up to design and we're going to click on math activity. like the ones we had before. Um, let's see. And we can choose one of these activities. All right. But first, let me click here so that I can use this icon. You'll see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this in the front cover. We're going to go ahead and delete this, delete this delete these things and we're only going to use this part. I'm going to save this page number two. I'm going to download it. You'll see what I'm going to do. PNG. It's going to be a PNG and the file is deselect everything. Select page two. Done. Done. And I'm going to upload it onto Canva because I'm going to use that on the front cover. There you go. Now, let's see what we can do here. We can do something like this. I'm going to edit the photo. And I mean, to do it 
just like this in real time while I'm recording, it's a little difficult because I am very meticulous about everything that I do. So I'll go back and change it around and move things around because I didn't like something or it's it could be very time consuming, but you can definitely get it done in one day. I've done it multiple times and it can be a good quality book cover. You just have to know exactly what to do, where what where to put things, where to position icons, how to put the shadows and things like that. So we can go ahead and use this little icon. And let's continue. We can even use animals. We just created on real time a book cover for a children's activity book. And I mean, this could be however you want to make it. I mean, it's just little elements that I like to teach and I could spend literally another maybe 20 minutes on this. If you are looking to perfect something, make it the best, the best that you can remove yourself away for a little bit and then come back to it and see what else you can add to it. And then just start saving the documents and go and upload and publish. Why? Because if not, you're going to end up paralyzed. You're not going to want to publish it because it's not good enough and so on and so forth. For the back cover, it doesn't have to be as elaborate as the front cover. However, you still want to add the, those color elements. You can still use that background that you did, that you used on the front cover and it's going to be there under recently used. You're going to be able to see that background. And I'll show you here. It's right here to the left. So we're just going to plop it down. And then here you, you can go ahead and save these worksheets and add them to the back of the cover. And I, I'll show you what it looks like with some of the worksheets that I've already created. Okay, so I put these two here. And then you could just, it could be very simple. It doesn't have to be very complicated. You can do something like this. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here and this one here. And all you have to do is remember, edit that, edit that, that uh, image and add a shadow to make it a little better. Or you can add a shadow to the, to the right, or maybe an outline. However, you'd like to do that. So let me just go ahead and leave that as the outline with an outline. Okay. And then here for the words, all you're going to do, if you do not know what to put on the back of that activity book, go on chat GPT and you can always ask, create a prompt and just give the description of the book that you're creating, the types of activities inside that book, and it'll create a back blurb for the back of your book. But for he, for this example, we're going to just go ahead and, and put math activities and we're going to put it here to the side. We can put it right here, math activities, and then we can duplicate this and then put here, you can put writing prompts and then you could continue to add images to this and you want to, if you want to go ahead and incorporate those balloons that you had in the first page, you can, you can go ahead and add them here or here on the corner. You could just continue to add elements to this, or maybe even incorporate the benefits, the benefits of these math activities. Continue to give your customers a preview of what they can find in that book by just continuing to add more pages to the back. I hope this video was helpful and it was tedious for me to actually create a book cover from scratch in real time. That was tedious, it was challenging, but I did it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and I will see you on the next video.